Okay guys, so I will be baking hard oat bread. Now I've warmed my water. The recipe I will upload was my trial one and it works out perfect. Now today I'm going to double my recipe and you will see the <laughs> literally half of what I'm doing now. So I have one cup of warm water. Make sure your finger can go in that water and you're not burnt. That's the temperature. Warm, but enough that you can put your finger in it. I am going to add my yeast. Now, I did put for my yeast, one one teaspoon of yeast now i'm going to use two because i'm doubling up Sugar. Let me just. I'll be walking in front of the camera. <laughs> Let's wipe this off. Put it one side, and I'm going to add the sugar. This time, you can still add a teaspoon of sugar just to activate the help to activate the yeast. That's you don't have to put double it. This is just to activate it. And you're going to do your mix. Make sure there's no lump. Just keep mixing. Sorry. You mix. side to to rise so my fan is on I don't necessarily want to cool it down which one which one hold on so you put it aside to to activate and it is activating already so just leave it to activate make sure you rinse your <laughs> your mixer <laughs> and you dry it off because you're going to use it again this time in the flour so we're gonna work fast because this is supposed to only sit there for no more than 10 minutes okay to activate so I have to work fast what I'm going to get now is the shortening and the butter so if your butter is in the or your margarine is in the fridge and it needs to it needs to give me one moment <laughs> right your butter needs to melt a little I'm going to show you how to do that I'm going to do both of them at the same time. So I did say a tablespoon of butter. Was it a teaspoon or a tablespoon? I don't know. What did I say? I think it was, uh, give me one moment there. So because I'm doubling up, my original recipe called for one tablespoon of unsalted butter and one tablespoon of shortening so here's what i'm going to do this is two i'm going to use because i'm doubling up okay so i'm going to use two i'm going 
going to use two. Now, really and truly, <laughs> tablespoon, just to get accurate measurement, make sure you have one of these spatula and you, you, and then you empty it like this. So that's one. Okay. And then you go again. Always use your spatula to get accurate measurement. Same thing for everything like sugar, whatever you're doing. You have to pair it off and then do that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the butter and I'm the butter is hard, it's in the fridge. I'm going to show you what to do to get it soft. So there I have it, it's hard. I'm going to put it in the microwave and you're going to press, um, you're going to do defrost, put it on time defrost for one minute. So press defrost and do one minute. In the meantime, you're going to add three cups of flour. But I would suggest you do the flour and the butter, the mixing of the flour and the, the but with the butter first before you start the yeast and the water because it will rise before you finish it will start activate before you finish so for the recipe I put there is one and a half cup of flour because I'm doubling up I'm doing three cups of flour and this is all you can raise the, the whole thing This is how it looks. Now I'm gonna add the salt to. Remember, I said a pinch of salt. Now, probably what you're wondering, what is a pinch of salt? Let's show you what that is. So here I'm going to put a salt, some salt in my look. A pinch of salt. Two pinch of salt. Two pinches of salt. <laughs> you can't throw that way. Remember I said wash this, put it up. So you're gonna twirl that. Then you're gonna add your butter. And you're going to use your hand, hands are clean, and you break that up. Move these out the way, we're not going to need that anymore for now. So you see it start become grainy. And I'm gonna show you the yeast, how it had activated. But one more thing we need to put in the flour and that's the sugar. We say two tablespoons of sugar, we're gonna put four. Because we are doubling up. So 
so now that it's almost it's great have a gray look if you can see looks grainy we're going to add our sugar I'm going to show you how the yeast activates. You see that? So it activates. Can you see? You see all the the um. If it if it doesn't have that foam on top, it is not activated. Now you have to do it again. That's very critical. going to add all of that. And it's going to feel soft and all. But don't mind that it's not going to be awful. Just keep kneading like you need dumpling. Or you need flour, I should say. And if it feel too tough to you, add a little bit more water. If it feel too soft, add a little bit more flour because we're going for a certain consistency. I'm going to show you what the window test is. This is looking like I'm going to need just a little tap of water, not much. If you have warm water, it is good, not hot. Remember I say warm. Another trick you could do is add more soft butter to it. That's another trick instead of water. I'm going to um, add the, the butter to show you how you can do that instead of water. So you can just add a little bit more, like say one or two tablespoons, it really doesn't matter because the butter would help it to give it this nice flavor. 
right now it actually have a nice okay what I'm going for is a winger test when you do this you're supposed to can see your hand through it but it need a little bit more um, for that a little bit more kneading and a little bit more soft to it because it's breaking it's on your clean counter then I'm going to add that extra batter just a little tip so now that I have one tablespoon of butter I'm just going to add it to it like that bring We're going for a dough that will bounce back to you. When you're doing it, it start feeling like bouncy. Like for example, if you press it, it must come out back. See, it's coming out back, press it. So keep kneading. The more you need it is the more it starts to feel right. Let's try for the window test. There we go. I don't know if you can see my hand. We are at the window test. See that? See my hand between here? And it's not necessarily falling apart very quickly. You have done your job. With the dough, see it, press it, it's coming out, press it again, it's coming out, that's what you want, if you don't have that, you're not there, add a little bit more butter, or a little bit more warm water. So I would say, I would suggest that you take out your butter and you 
your butter out of the fridge definitely don't keep shortening in the fridge it won't spoil <laughs> So you're going to let this sit for 20 minutes. Some would need it way longer than this, but you reach the window test so you can let it sit for 20 minutes. I'm going to show you how to do that. You could put it back in the same container, but for the purpose of you, I'm going to show you what to do. You put a little oil, this is olive oil, little, little bit on the bottom. That's to prevent it from sticking. And just cover it. I would say cover it with a damp cloth. Put it in a dark area. I wouldn't suggest you put it in the microwave because you're going to need a microwave. I mean, not the oven. Most people do it in the oven, but put it in, in your microwave or somewhere in a cupboard to sit for the 20 minutes because you're going to need to heat up the oven. And my 20 minutes. And you clean up your area in the meantime. Until, um, I don't know how long your stove, but like say 10 minutes pass, then you can start heating up or warming up your stove. Actually, no, you're supposed to let it sit again for another 20 minutes. So forget this. Don't warm your stove yet. <laughs> Don't re heat preheat yet. Wait until the next 20 minutes. Then that's the 10 minutes you use to do that. Okay, so now that my 20 minutes almost up, you need a bread pan. <laughs> You need a bread baking pan. This is a cake one. I guess it's used for other things too. So I'm just going to hold it from a distance and just that's it. No more. Hold on. Like I said. get oil enough. I don't want too much oil in it either because Oops. I don't want to have too much oil personally. personally. I just want it greasy. Slightly greased. You 
can use butter or whatever you want to use you can just yeah but that's what I'm doing last night what I used when I was doing it I used those dollar store baking one and I used because I, I was using the exact recipe small it was just a test my uncle in Jamaica who used to um, basically run a bakery he, he was the he was the baker <laughs> and he made the best the very best um hardo bread so i reached out to him for some tips some advice of course i created my own there you go it's all done so you're not trying to achieve it raised we're not achieving that's not what we're trying to achieve you don't want to you don't want to for it to be double there's a reason for putting it down look here I'm gonna show you why it's not raised it's not doubled but you're getting the perfect the very per Hold on. I keep holding up mine and you probably won't see me. You're getting the perfect window dough. There you go. Perfect, perfect. Perfect. So <laughs> now that we achieve that. Oh, hold on. You don't want it to double in size or anything like that. That's not what we're trying to achieve. Because with this, with this art of bread, you cannot, you don't want it to double in size like you're baking, like other types of bread, like rolls and stuff like that. Because we're doing hard dough bread. <laughs> That's what we're trying to achieve. So I'm going to roll this out You have to watch this um, get the flour on here so that it can roll get the flour on the on here the rolling pin not necessarily on the floor and then roll with the one and a half flour it you, you won't have so much problem with it you need a lot of room the way you're doing so look what I'm going to do now I'm going to start rolling it in. And then 
I'm going to tuck the ends in like this and roll. Tuck. Let me bring it out. You know you have room. Make sure your surface is clean. I think I had um what do you call it cinnamon on here. it in by pinching it then with the hand press it in you gotta turn it over and you squish it down to the size of the pan you know what I mean squish it and roll sure the side that is this side is down make sure it's down then you're gonna use either your palm and press it out in there to be straight said to use a spoon so let's try his method <laughs> use a big spoon press it out flat as possible yesterday it was a bit neater than this because I had it rolled almost to the size of the best of you get it it might come out crooked <laughs> Jesse just put a ceramic wrap over it. So that you can make sure it's not rising on you because it's going to rise in the oven. Okay, so you get that ceramic wrap over it so you can see. You don't want it to rise and double in size like no. It's in the baking. Put it back in, in a dark place. In the, and I'm going to put it back in the microwave. And 
did you go for your 20 minutes and clean up whatever is left to clean up my, un my uncle actually said just let it stand for <laughs> let it sit for um five minutes but go your 20 because it came up perfect yesterday so if you want to play with it a little <laughs> You notice it rise for a little bit, it, it shouldn't come up so far, but anyway, you can just press it out, press all back the air out of it. I'm going to use, I'm going to make a design, I put ceramic wrap around it to tighten it, because I don't want the flower in a certain area, so I'm going to put it down like that, and I'm going to flower it a bit I'll just put it in here first and then do like this sprinkle around it press it down and then bring it up there you get your love <laughs> then we bring it back Bring it down, get another ceramic wrap and cover that design because you don't want it to sp spread over. Oops. This thing. Oh. All right, so just cover over where you do already and then go for the next part. I did try to make the markings already so do the same thing just slightly put it in there and just go right and then you press it down like that I just learned that on YouTube now my uncle said i could do it but he didn't tell me how to do this part so i f i just look up a video and it showed me how and then you do the last one you put over it press it down you still have a little, um thing here just do it over it spread it over still is rising so that okay just press it down and then lift. cute see and then you stick it in the oven and watch it through the glass for when it gets brown brown okay brown and I'll show you that oh you uh, remember to put it your yeah, oven on 350 or medium whatever your stove is if you know your oven is not baking or heating up as it should just put up the temperature to where you know um, 350 really should be so I'm not gonna chat away with you because <laughs> I don't like talking videos myself but um so put it in the middle the center of the oven i forget to tell you that just don't just stick it in there as i say any anywhere put it in the center of the oven preferably um if you <laughs> how should i say it um this is your oven right 
against the wall this is the wall this is the front and this is the baking just put it in this way hope you can see my hand can you see me or let me lower my hand this is your oven this is your wall this is the front of your oven and this is your baking you're holding your baking pan just slide it in the middle of the oven this way not this way but this way in the center okay got it you want me to draw it <laughs> i don't have anything to draw it so again your wall the front your baking pan hold the two handles and just slide it in in the center and watch it i mean don't sit there all the way the reason why i said to watch it because don't put a time on it they put some people put time on it and it, it's not ready so i would say just watch it until the top is brown okay not brown to burn but light brown okay let me show you what i mean because i did mine yesterday and it's almost done um which is it here it is here's what i did i had done yesterday this is what I had done yesterday. So this was the original recipe here. It's thick. Really nice. Like Jamaican hard dough bread. So this is the, the brown you're going for. Okay. This is what you're going for. You have to watch it. Watch it carefully. I know I put the design on it, but you still can see the brown because the love in the middle of the love is not is not flowered, so you'll be able to see it if you put a design on it. Make sure when you put in a design, if you cover it like with a ceramic wrap so that it doesn't, if it's open, if the the design is open um, at the top, you have to cover it with a ceramic. So that it's not flowered. So this is what I did. This was the original, and it was a tester to see if I got it right, and I did, which I'm very proud of myself. So I decided to double up the recipe today and show you. I get, I got, I received some requests on how it's done and the recipe. And that's why I really enjoy it. So I said, why not do it? This is what I do in the evenings. I do the things I love to do. And so it wasn't any problem to actually do it and show you how it's done. Okay. Okay, guys. So it's done. And this is all you want it look before you take it out I'm going to take it out no I don't turn it off. I don't turn off the oven yet <laughs> so give me a minute there we have it my design <laughs> you see it has risen in the oven yeah you're gonna let it oops it's hot hold on Um, yeah, kind of crooked I told it would be over that side because of how it was thing there. But let it cool down, guys. Please let it cool down before you attempt to take it out. Let it cool down. Give it at least 20 minutes in there because you want the top to finish bake. It's not done yet. It's actually baking still in its position while you take it out of the oven. Okay. All right. And I'll send you pictures. 
thanks for watching yes guys remember i was telling you to put butter over it and stuff it's optional you don't have to do that because i'm not going to do that for this one it will still be soft and nice on the outside and there you have it it's all no perfect 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 it is still baking so you don't want to trouble it let it stay and bake another important thing please do not open the oven to check if it's baked don't do that just look through the glass the window um, of your oven because if it's not baked and you open it it's gonna sink okay all right here's the big reveal i'm gonna try <clears throat> and cut it i don't like to let's see now <laughs> we're going to take off the, the all the nice design of the but anyway let's go for it <clears throat> let's go for it i don't want to It's best when it really cool down. I just that I'm trying to end this video before I pack it up for the night. And voila! Hard old bread. So tomorrow morning. Somebody say tomorrow morning. Look at that guys. Awesome. It's best you wait. But tomorrow morning it's going to really do its thing so here you have it hard old bread it's gonna get it's, right now it's warm and soft but when it cool down it going to be the hard old bread not very hard but tastes like real jamaican hard old bread mm-hmm Tastes real good. Put some butter on this, and voila! Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs>